Rumors claim that Samsung might pull yet another Apple with the Galaxy S8. The feature LG G6 might bring some sort of water resistance to the table, and Amazon has successfully reinvented the wheel on how regular retail stores should work. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, can you imagine if Amazon would pull that same strategy with bars? They would be amazing. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with Amazon Go. The company wants to reinvent the way retail stores work, though this time it's going to be with groceries, and it's going to begin in 2017 in select areas, starting with Seattle, I believe. The way this is gonna work is that instead of checking out your items when you select them, this is actually backwards. You check in your phone, uh, the smartphone will be able to geolocate where you are, know what items you picked, and you simply leave the store and Amazon will bill your Amazon account. This is genius. We want it in bars. We want it in retail stores that sell you clothes. Hopefully companies pick on this. This is awesome. Now let's talk about wearable market share. For those of you that are wondering which is the company that reigns supreme, it is Fitbit still. 23.6% of the market followed by Xiaomi. And uh, then Apple is fourth. 4.9% of the market, followed by Samsung at 4.6. Obviously, we're talking about all wearables here, not just smartwatches. We know that Apple currently wins in the smartwatch market. Sad to see that Fitbit, uh, which is the company that provides the most closed ecosystem and most limited products, is actually the king. Hopefully that changes. Other very interesting statistics are rather shameful for Android, which tells us which of its versions of the operating system is the most incumbent right now, being Lollipop at 34%, followed by Marshmallow at 26. We've got KitKat at a close 20, and then we've even got Froyo on the list being Nuke at the worst one. Google really needs to go back to the drawing board with this. Now let's move the spotlight over to the smartphones that we can expect for 2017. The LG G6 being the company's new haven, or hopefully the one that's gonna fix all the problems that LG's been dealing with because the V20 hasn't really been it. Not because the V20 is a bad product, but because LG does terrible marketing with it. Right now, when it comes to the G6, apparently we're getting IP67 water and dust resistance. Those of you that are wanting a removable battery, apparently that is going to die. It seems that LG hasn't really followed on the lessons that Samsung is learning right now. And in addition to that, apparently we are getting that new selfie camera that includes an iris scanner. That is gonna be cool. We can't wait to see what we get. And finally, the very interesting news that they have to do with the Samsung Galaxy S8. We've got rumors over what to expect in its design. Rather polarizing. First of all, apparently the home button is dying. It's gonna be part of the display following what kind of Apple does with the iPhone 7 with the force touch home button and the rumors that the iPhone 8 will include the home button within the display as well. Apparently we are also getting speakers from Harman as part of the acquisition. That is great. Samsung really needs to do this. The Harman speakers on the Huawei MediaPad M3 are awesome. They are really awesome. But probably the worst part is that apparently the headphone jack is dying. And this is terrible, like seriously, I mean, let's talk about this on the question today. Do you think that companies should start killing the headphone jack? Because in my case, I think the companies should not. Or if anything, fine, give me two USB-C ports and let's be done with it. But not just one port and make things more complicated. Leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on fuckingout.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.